Hello guys, how's everyone doing today? And welcome back to another PriceCP Roblox Studio tutorial. Previously, we have had this lesson on animation events, where we have learned how to set the animation event markers inside the Roblox animation editor, and we have learned how to use script to script those events when they are fired. Today's tutorial is also going to be about animation events, but it's going to be a different kind of animation event. It is going to be an event that is being fired automatically by Roblox. Today's tutorial, we're going to learn about the animation ended event and also the animation stop event. We're also going to learn how to stop an animation while the animation is being played. Here we are inside Roblox Studio. You can see that I have a rig here. And if you don't have a rig in your game and you want to get one, you can go to the avatar menu tab click on Rig Builder, and th then you can make your selections here and click on a button to add a rig to your game. I already have a rig, so I don't need to add one to my game. Now that you have a rig inside your game, you can select the rig, click on the plus sign, and add a script. Inside your script, you can add in the following lines. If you are not familiar with how to play an animation using scripts, you should refer to our Animation Basics video on how to create your own animation and how to play it using scripts. Here I'm declaring the rig, I'm declaring the humanoid inside the rig, and here I'm adding two different animations. So if my first animation is gonna be a kick animation and my second animation is gonna be a wave animation. For each one of these, I just create a new animation instant and then I go to my toolbox for example, I'm going to go to Home, Toolbox. I'm going to look for Animation. So the first one is going to be a kick animation. So I'm going to look for my kick animation here. Here's the high kick. I'm going to right click, Copy Asset ID. Then I go back in here. I'm going to paste that Asset ID into here. So I'm going to delete this and Control V to paste. I don't really need to delete it, but I just want to show you that it's gone and I'm pasting what I copied from here into here. And then you do the same thing for this one. So for this one, it is going to be a wave animation. So I'm just going to right click here, copy asset ID, and then come back over here and just paste it in. All right, so basically we're creating the new animation object. We're loading the animation ID and then we're loading the animation track. The only thing left to do is to play the animation. And we're doing the same thing for two different animations. So here we're playing the wave animation, which is this one right here. And here we're playing the kick animation, which is this one right here. Now notice these two are inside a function. So we're going down here, we're gonna wait for 12 seconds. And then we're going to call the wave animation function. So we're calling this function. It's going to wait for one second, and then it's going to play the wave animation. What I want to do now is I want to alternate the animation between the wave animation and the kick animation. So as soon as the wave animation ends, I want to start to play the kick animation. And as soon as the kick animation ends, I want to play the wave animation again. So I want to keep on repeating the process, alternating between the two different animations. To do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. And basically here, we're going to start with the wave animation. So it's going to play the wave animation. What I want to do is I want to listen for this animation track to see when it ended for me to play the the other animation. So I'm going to copy this one. I'm going to come down to here. I'm going to paste it here. And I'm going to listen for the animation ended event. So I'm going to do dot ended. When that happens, we're going to connect to a function. And our function is going to be the kick animation function, where we're going to play the kick animation. So we're, here we're connecting to kick. So now the kick animation is going to be playing. And then I need to listen for when 
the kick animation ended for me to play the wave animation. So here I'm gonna say kick animation track dot ended. We're listening for the ended event of the kick animation track. We're gonna connect to a function. Our function now is gonna be the wave animation. It's kind of like a recursive routine where uh, one function is going to call the other function and the other function is going to return the call back to the original function. So it's a recursive process and it's going to continue on indefinitely. Let's now play and take a look. I'm going to run to my rig. There's the rig and give it 12 seconds or less. And there he goes, he waved, and he kicked. That looks a little funky, but it is a kick. He goes through the, the ground, through through the base plate, and kick. All right, so that's how you use the animation ended event to play two different animations back to back, and then repeating the process over and over and over again. Now I'm going to throw a curve ball at you and I'm going to give you something else. I'm going to give you a different animation. So instead of the kick animation, I'm going to go to home. I'm going to look for a different animation. I'm going to use the leap animation. I'm going to right click, copy asset ID, go back here. So instead of our kick animation, I'm going to paste in the new ID in here. And we're gonna do the uh, the leap animation. Let's play and take a look. Let me close this one here. I'm waiting for the rig to wave. There it goes. And there's the leap. But you see, my leap animation has the loop property checked, so it's gonna keep on looping and it's never going to stop. So how do we get around this problem when we have an animation that is going to keep on playing nonstop? It's never going to go back to the original animation. So in this case, again, my kick animation is the leap animation now, and it's going to keep on looping forever. So if I want to stop it, I'm going to go in here after playing your animation. I'm going to let it play for one second. So I'm going to do a wait, or you can do a task wait if you want for one second. And then I'm going to stop that animation. So I'm going to say kick animation track colon stop. And I'm going to give it a two seconds fade out. So it's going to fade out in two seconds after it stop. Let's now play again. Take a look. So we're gonna wait for the guy to wave, the rig to wave. There it goes. And he's sleeping. And you see the low, the, the, the small jump, the small leap. That's the two seconds fade out at the end of the leap. Watch again, one, two, and there's a small leap. That's how you stop an animation while the animation is being played. Now, before we end today's tutorial, I just wanna point out another event it is called a stop event. So instead of the ended event, we're going to replace them with a stop event. Basically, the stop event is very similar to the ended event. The only difference is when an animation is stopped, it fires the stop event immediately, as opposed to when you use the ended event, when we do a stop right here with the two seconds fade out, the ended event is not going to be fired until two seconds later after the fade out has ended. Let's play again, take a look. So basically now the second animation is going to be played while the first animation has the fade out. So he's going to wave, he's going to leap. And the low leap, you see the low leap is done at the same time with the wave. 
So we're kind of combining two animations together at the same time. Watch again. One, two, and the low leap with the wave at the same time. So that is how you use the stop function to stop an animation from playing. And also that's how you use the ended event and the stop event to listen for when an animation has ended or when an animation has stopped. Basically, that is the answer to our Price CP Roblox Coding Challenge contest number three. But don't go anywhere because now we're going to check the results of our contest number three. So here we have contest number three right here and we're going to go and check the answers. We have an answer from contestant black and here's the script. So I'm going to copy the script. And we're going to go and put that inside studio, see if it works. Here we are inside Roblox Studio. So I'm going to go to my starter player, starter player scripts. I'm going to add a local script. And I'm just going to paste the code that I have copied into here. Contestant Black is using pretty much the same technique that we have used. So here he's declaring um, the player, the character, and the humanoid of the character. So he's applying the animation to the character. Here he's declaring animation number one and animation number two. And here he or she is loading the animation tracks for animation number one and animation number two. Here we're playing the first animation. We're listening for when it ends. We're gonna play the second animation. And then when the second animation ends, we're gonna play the first animation again. So it's gonna keep on repeating. To make this work, I'm going to have to replace these two animations with my own animation. So now let's go and get my animation. We're going to go to home, click on toolbox. For the first animation, I'm going to use my wave animation. So I'm just going to right click, copy asset ID, and then I'll just right click and paste it into here. For the second animation, I'm going to use the high kick, right click, copy asset ID and right click, paste it into here. Let's now play and take a look. So again, he's applying the animation to the character, to every character that joins the game. So you can see my character is waving and kicking. And it's going to keep on repeating that forever. Contestant Black, that, that is the answer to our question. You have earn yourself another 40 points. Contestant Black has earned himself or herself another 40 points. So now the total for Contestant Black is 80 points. Followed by Musta Wizard and Sam Opato, each has 20 points. And then finally, Extreme Difficulty and MHMDJ each has 5 points. Everyone, thank you for watching, and we look forward to see you again in our next tutorial. Take care, everyone.